Hello friends, I am Parika Pandey. In this session, we will learn how to handle the text files in the Python by using of Python operations. Let's first understand what is the file, then we can start how to handle it. So, a file is an external storage on hard disk from where data can be stored and retrieved. Mainly in the market, there are so many kinds of files available like CSV file, text file, then Excel file, JSON file, XML file, PDF file and Word file. So these are the files available in the market. Mainly by using of Python, we can easily handle all these files. But in this session, we learn how to handle the text file. I will explain you what kind of library files are used for handling this file. Like for CSV file, CSV library file is used, which is an inbuilt library. For Excel file, you can use the XLSX writer or open by Excel. Any of one you can use for handling the Excel file. Sometimes you can use the pandas library also. These all are the external library file. For JSON file, you can use JSON library, which is inbuilt. This is also inbuilt. For XML, XML processing is used. This is also the inbuilt library file. For PDF, we can use the py PDF too. For Word file, you can use the docx library which is external library. In all the library files, the functionality are same for opening and closing, in, except of XML and JSON. In the JSON and XML, there are different methods available by using of that you can open, read or write the file or close the file. But in other, all are same. For text file in Python, there are inbuilt functions available. By using of that, we can easily handle the text file. In Python, you can handle two types of text file. One is the normal text file, which is our uh, notepad file. And second is the binary text file, which is mainly used with the C language. So before start this, how to open the file, close the file, let's understand the access mode of the file then we can start this so in python these are the access mode is available like read mode write mode and append mode these are the main access mode by read mode you can open the file for reading only the file pointer is placed at the beginning of the file in the write mode this is mainly used to you used for writing the data into the file and it is mainly overrides the file in this mode mainly file overrides the existing data means replace the existing data with the new data and write mode mainly used for the new files when you are opening the new file then always you have to open the new file in the write mode read mode is mainly used for the existing file rb means binary read mode WB means writing in binary format files. R plus means what? You can use this R plus mode for reading and writing. And RB plus is mainly used for the binary format file. Same in the W plus you can writing and reading. And it is mainly used for the normal text file. But if you are taking WB plus, then it is used for the binary format file. A means append mode. Here mainly what happened, you have an existing file. In that, if you want to add the data, then we are using the append mode. This, is a, this append mode is mainly used for both existing file also and for new file also. In both you can use. If you are using the new file, then pointer would be at first place and if you are using the existing file then in the existing file the append mode pointer is at the last one. AB means 
बाइनरी फॉर्मेट एपेंड मोड ए प्लस मीन्स एपेंड मोड इन नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट फाइल एंड बाई यूजिंग ऑफ द ए प्लस यू कैन एपेंडिंग एंड रीडिंग बोथ द थिंग्स यू कैन डू एंड ए बी प्लस मेनली यूज फॉर द बाइनरी फॉर्मेट हेयर वी लर्न ए ए डब्ल्यू एंड आर मोड बिकॉज वी आर मेनली यूजिंग द नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट फाइल सो बिफोर स्टार्ट दिस लेट्स वी एक्सप्लेन वेर एंड वाई एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस एक्सेस मोड एंड दिस फाइल हैंडलिंग मेथड्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द एग्जाम्पल्स नाउ लाइक वी स्टार्ट विद द न्यू फाइल्स लाइक आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू फाइल एज टेस्ट डॉट टी एक्स टी फाइल इन राइटिंग मोड सो फॉर दैट आई ओपन द फाइल इन अ राइट मोड डब्ल्यू मोड बट बिफोर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टू टेक द फाइल ऑब्जेक्ट so i'll taking the file object as new file then after i use the open method when you are creating a new file then what happen you create the new file just open that file and then you start writing something in that file and then close it so here we are using the open method in the open method i will write the path test dot txt and which mode w mode i'll use this is a test dot txt file then after if i write new underscore file dot close so this open file would be close this close is mainly used to close the file not manually but by using of the machine okay means virtually this is closed okay for machine understanding this file is closed if you are writing or reading any file so always remember that you have to always close this file by using of the close method and secondly manually also you have to close otherwise what happen like i am writing something in a file but my file is open here so i unable to write anything in it okay naturally if i am open something in a file and then i try to open the same file from other place and try to write something in that file and save it so what happened when i close this file and again open it then you can see that data okay so here if you are not closing the file then what happened it is mainly not showing the new data whatever data you have added and secondly in future your file would be corrupt now let's write something in this file by using of write mode so you can use the dot write method and here let's write something this is python file now let's write a next line new underscore file dot write here let's write python is a easy language here you can see if you are not writing here slash n then what happen this line is created after this line okay slash n means what the next line so if you are writing the slash n after this so it would be created the next line then you can write the values also if you want to write like uh, the result is then here you have to write str and in that you have to write down the number okay you have to convert all the integer values in the str form you can write the value like this also 25 plus 36 and here you can use the formatting operator percentage t sorry percentage s and then percentage s okay like this also you can write the result now let's run this code and see the result so for that i open the ideally then new file copy paste this code save this file at desktop or it is a example dot py file i am creating on desktop okay this is this file is created on desktop now run it okay mainly 
it is taking one argument so you have to use like this in write method you can write only one argument okay so now let's see this test file is created on desktop and here all the result is coming 25 result is 61 okay why here slash n is not i forgot to give a slash n slash t is mainly used for tab so it is taking the tab so now again run this code and let's see the changes of this file okay so the result is 25 the result is 61 it's clear now let's use the read method for read this file so i comment this code or you can do one thing just open the same file after that and here let's use read file and here r mode okay copy then this is read file close it and before that read underscore file this is mainly the file object dot use read method and let's print this data now run this code and see the result so it is reading the file and showing all the result if i am writing 12 characters 12 means 12 characters i want to read so it is showing total 12 characters only the another method is the read read line method so read line method is mainly reading the single line okay the first line so for that we are mainly using the for loop so it is showing the all the lines data now here like i am taking the 12 characters so it is showing the 12 characters only now here if you are using the read lines method so it is mainly reading all the lines and showing all the lines in a list so here you can see all the lines available in a list so by using of that you can understand how many lines are available in the file and then you can use that file so these are the method of the reading method and this is the method of the write method now add something in this file so for that i am using the append mode append and here append in the append file also we are using the write method and here let's write i am append line and before that let's use slash n for the next line okay and then close this file so here you can see i am append line is added in the existing file so this is mainly the file handling by using of that we can easily handle the files now let's see one username and password example so it would be clear to you where we can use this kind of code so let's first understand the question like we will create one input file with some name then we write all names in a input file by using of backend code 
then we create password and add or we can say write this password in the output file now your password is like a john thomas is the person name your password would be j o t h a s 123 you can take any integer value here i have taken 123 but you can take any values okay 123 Two, three, five, anything. And the next in the output file, just save username and password together. Okay, so let's write this code. So here, first of all, I use the for loop for i in range of five. We will take a five names. Then name equals to input. Enter your name. So five times we are entering the name. Then after let's try to create the password. So for creating the password, what we'll do? We will split name first. So name dot split. Then in the password let's take in the split name it will create two name. Okay. For creating password mainly. we take split name then 0 to 2 in upper case then we will add next split name here 0 index you have to take here first index you have to take and 0 colon 2 dot upper case so here we have taken the first name is john so j o is in upper case Thomas T H is upper case. Then split name first element. We will take whole length of that. So we will take this. Otherwise, we will find here last name equals to length of split underscore name. First element minus one. So here, or let's take a length of the last name. So like we have taken the total length. Like in the Thomas, there is a length is five. Thomas total length is six. So here we want index this two. So total length is six. So six minus one is what? Five. So we want five and four. Okay, six minus two. So here, what happened? Total length is six, but if you are taking the index, then zero to five index. Okay, like here, the index is what zero, one, two, three, four, five, and we want this two data. So six minus two is four. So we will taking four first element, this length, four colon. Okay, and this we want in lower case. Then we are adding the number. So here, import random module, and here random dot rand range. You can take one twenty to one fifty. Okay, so here mainly whatever things are coming, it is mainly our password. So we are storing this. password now we want to write this password also and username also so first of all here i'll take anm list here i am taking pw list and let's take an and name dot append anm so we are appending this sorry name yeah this name i am appending in this Anm list, and same thing we are doing for the password. Pw dot append, and here password. Append means what? We are adding the password and name here. Okay. Now here 
let's take a 4 i in range of lan of nm and here mainly we are opening a test file okay i am opening the test file remove this instead of this this is your input file so let's take i file in the i file we are in the appending mode we will take nm0 so all name would be right in a text file okay and then after we close this i file here let's read this file when we are reading this file input file then we can see the result let's take a name as the input so it is showing the result of input file okay now if you want to take the password means create the password from the input file then also you can do it otherwise you can use directly this password and then also you can do it okay so now what happened we will take the read the all the files and then we will create this password so for that I'll take read lines method. So here take the records. Records equals to read file all the lines. So all the lines are coming. Then split all the names. Okay. So for I in records. Okay. Or you can say line in records. Then line dot split the same method we are using okay we are splitting the line like john thomas is one line so we are splitting that line then taking the length of that line and then finding the password and then append this password here you can do like that otherwise you can do like this also take a output file Here let's take a output in append mode and in the output file we are mainly writing this password whatever password is coming okay so no need to append this password Here also we are doing the same thing. So no need to anm. Instead of this we will take the name. Here we are not appending. We are directly writing in a file. In the append mode. Now let's run this file and see the result. Like I am taking John, Thomas, Peter, Parker, then Joe. Danish semi okay now let's open this input here John Thomas Peter Parker Mark Hacker Joe Danish and simile is coming okay and in the output okay here let's use slash n here also use slash n okay let's here print records and here print split name this two things let's check and see the result john thomas peter parker mark hacker joe dennis simi lee it's a one line okay mainly what happened here all the data is coming into the one line so because of that this uh, password is not created properly so here we have to use slash n so not here but after this use slash n let's take a three input first and see the result so here let's do one thing after the name we will write the next line in a right method so it will work properly
like here john thomas peter parker mark hacker okay so like this two names are coming so it will create a pro passwords properly so input all the names are coming like this why it is showing like this because in the a append mode we are not appending anything okay so do one thing let's delete this so first of all stop this then delete this delete this now run this code and see the result so all the data is coming in the next line in the append mode i have already deleted the file okay so like this three lines are coming and the data is splitted so here in the input file it will looks like this and in the output file okay like this all the values are coming clear so by using of this we can easily create the username and password mostly system engineers are doing this thank you